represents the bride in marriage. We do. We do. Thank you, Clayton and Marshall. You may be seated. All, please be seated. <laughs> Friends and family, we have been invited here today to share with Sarah and Brian a very important moment in their lives. In the three plus years they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. So welcome one and all who have traveled from near and far. Sarah and Brian, thank you for your presence here today. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let the rest go. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice that you make to stand together as life mates and partners. Let us pray. Lord, behold our family here assembled. We thank you for this place in which we dwell, for the love that unites us, for the peace accorded us this day, for the hope with which we expect the morrow, for the health, the work, the food, and the bright skies that make our lives delightful, and our friends in all parts of the earth. Amen. Brian, please take Sarah's hands. take Sarah to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer and poorer, and in sickness and health, to love, honor, and protect her and to her alone. Do you pledge your love, your fidelity? If you agree, please say, I do. I do. <laughs> Sarah, do you take Brian to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer and poorer, and in sickness and health. <laughs> to love, honor, and cherish him, and to him alone. Do you pledge your love and your fidelity? If you agree, please say, I do. Do we have the rings? The rings you two have chosen for one another are made out of very precious metals are one of the least tarnishing and one of the most enduring of all ores and fittingly symbolize the ties that bind you two in matrimony. Because, you see, these ores will stand the test of time. In storms of life, tremendous pressure, even fire, and they always come out stronger, pure, and more refined, and more beautiful each and every time, just like your love has, and just like it will. Will you, Jim, take that ring and give it to Brian? Brian, will you take the ring and place it on the ring finger of Sarah's left hand? Hold it there in place, look at Sarah, and repeat after me. <laughs> With this ring, I take you to be my best friend. With this ring, I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. And my one true love. And inspire you. And inspire you. And to love you truly. To love you truly. Through the good times and the bad. Through the good times and the bad. I will forever be there. I will forever be there. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. To lift you up when you're down. And to love you unconditionally. To love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life together. Through all of our adventures in life together. I give this ring to you as my gift. I give this ring to you as my gift. Wear it and think of me and know that I love you. Wear it and think of me and know that I love you. Carrie, will you take this ring and give it to Sarah? Sarah, will you take that ring and place it on the ring finger of Brian's left hand, hold it there in place, and repeat after me. 
With this ring, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through the good times and the bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. I give this ring to you as my gift. Wear it and think of me and know that I love you. Let it be known that Sarah and Brian do not enter this commitment alone. Sarah brings with her two amazing and vibrant sons. Clayton and Marshall, will you please come forward and stand between your mother and Brian. Over the years, the four of you have gotten to know each other, sharing meals, hanging out, and just spending time together. You have successfully melded into a modern day family. Today, Clayton and Marshall, your support to this marriage is clear. Brian joins this family circle as your mother's husband, as a friend that you can count on, and a man who loves you both very much. I ask that your home be a place of happiness for all who enter, a place where the old and the young are renewed in each other's company, a place for growing, a place for music and celebration, and a place for laughter and goofing off. And when life seems to be too much or you just had a rough day, may your home always be a place of refuge, where every one of you can find the comforts of always knowing that you'll be accepted and loved unconditionally. Thank you, Clayton and Marsha. You may be seated. Brian, will you please take both of Sarah's hands and yours and continue to look at each other? <laughs> Brian, guard wellness your bride. She commits herself into your hands and into your keeping, placing not only herself, but everything she holds dear under your protection for the remainder of her life. And live in such a manner from this day forward that no word, deed, or action of yours would ever cloud her brow with grief. Bring her not to tears, or if there are tears, let them be only tears of joy. Sarah, it will be your part to attain, by your virtues, your faithfulness and loyalty, your love and encouragement, this man's heart, which you have won by your grace, your intelligence, and your beauty. <laughs> Both of you always remember you are holding your very best friend by the hand right now. Always be quick to forgive each other, and never forget that love is not an emotion, it's a decision, and it's one that both of you must make each and every day of your lives. It's deciding to put the other person before yourself each and every time. If you both agree to all these, please say, I do. I do. Sarah and Brian, it's almost time to change your Facebook status. <laughs> but first, by the power vested in me by the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brian, you of course may kiss your bride. <laughs> Folks, I have a few announcements I'd like to make before we uh, continue our festivities. In a few moments, the staff will be here resetting this area for dinner. During that time, I ask that everyone please make their way around the corner uh, and enjoy some appetizers and perhaps an adult beverage or two. Uh, the DJ will announce when it's okay to come back and take your ass assigned seats at the tables, <laughs> at which you have been uh, assigned. Uh, restrooms are located inside the bar directly behind me, and dinner will be served around 6.45. With that, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Sarah Yearout. It's drinking time. 